the toxicity between owners trying to be better than the other like oh i have this i have that which car is better but the point of the car community is everyone just joins and becomes united a group my name is Braulio and I drive uh, this GT350 Shelby 2016. I also have the yeah, 1995 240SX S14 and a half. I chose this car because uh, a few years ago it was one of my dream cars, the Shelby. Uh, I was always into Mustangs because of my dad, probably one of my attainable dream cars, which is the main reason I started with this car. My dad started off, he actually used to have 240SX when they first came out and I would hear all the stories and I got interested in, in cars ever since from a young age. Started building like little engines and collecting Hot Wheels and all that, like most car guys do. Well, probably uh, fake flames or spark plug flames. I think it's pretty controversial because a lot of people see the flames as power or someone's pushing high amounts, but then you might see the Honda Civic with the same flames, but it's all fake in a reality. I think takeovers are pretty dumb. It causes a bad reputation in the scene. Um, many people said that, but I do believe it because there's been many accidents, such in LA, San Diego, and because of these accidents, the cops are after any form of car guy. I think cloud chasing is pretty big. Uh, there's a lot of cloud chasers that follow, like uh, people that went from another source of media to the car community. They brought their followers in. It causes a lot of fake car guys that uh, We'll say something that's not factual, we'll, we'll follow something that is not like real to the car community. I feel like that blue RX say it is pretty controversial because of how it was blown a certain way. I think it probably could have been caused by the owner. But if you look previous videos of the owner show that like his work is not up to par, how to loose wires, loose connections and stuff like that. So I think it might have been caused by him. So we had to wire direct direct power to the starter, which is what this big button is. This is how I start my car. So that's the starter. That's the starter. <laughs> The fuse box on an RX-7 is right here. It's the same location where the hole is. These cars are actually known for having electrical fires. I think I'd say auto. I think I go with auto because manuals are fun and they are interesting, but to a certain point, uh, the manual just it just kept getting repetitive. You have to think more, you have to focus more. So I think I think auto and it's faster, so you can't go wrong with that. The cruises, the canyon cruises are pretty entertaining because it's it's something where you can push yourself to your ability and there's no need to go above 100 miles an hour. It's hard to get someone else in danger compared to takeovers or say racing in the streets. Uh, regrets on my Sylvia, I do regret buying it. It takes all the money because those engines are a little difficult. A lot of people have touched those cars, so it's hard to see who did it right and who did it wrong. Uh, regrets on the Mustang, uh, not really. I don't think I have regrets on my, one of my dream cars. I think the car community might decrease a lot based on like the new electric cars, especially a lot of uh, California, the I think it's 2026 law, where they're banning the sale of gasoline cars in, the, in California, I think it is. But that's gonna deplete a lot of the car community here, especially bringing in new cars and how a lot of toxicity has been introduced into the car community. Uh, a lot of people wanna compete. All the old cars are gonna go up in value. You can't get new car guys, car people to come into the business with, or the community with no money. My Instagram is bralio.sang, uh, S14.5. Uh, uh, other than that, having a great day, go cruising, have fun and enjoy the cars. Thank <laughs> you.